All right, what is up? So I just want to give you a quick little update on where I'm at with Hatch. So like most projects I start, I vastly underestimated the amount of work this would be. In my head originally, I thought I could do this in like a week or so. And obviously that did not happen, but I am making good progress on this. And I think it's going to be really awesome when I do finally launch it. So if you don't know what Hatch is, it's going to be a utility framework for Webflow. So the idea is that you're going to be able to quickly build your layouts with predefined classes. And these classes will be for things like layout. So flex and grid and stuff like that, as well as like margin and padding and width and stuff like that. So what I'm going for is sort of like a style guide on steroids. So my goal for this is for you to be able to clone this project, go through a little series of steps to customize it for your project and then just get up and running really, really quickly. So I'm in like the middle stage for quite a lot of this project. Okay, so I've already started building the framework. I've created a little mascot for this project and I've already started to design what the Hatch uh, homepage is gonna look like and also what the clonable homepage is gonna look like. So that's gonna be like a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to get your project set up. So the framework side of things, I've already added about 1400 classes and I'm planning on adding a bit more. So. It is going to be quite robust in terms of what you can do. It's definitely not going to cover everything, but it will help you quite a bit in terms of getting up and going quickly. So the reason there's so many classes is because things like margin and padding and width and stuff like that are going to have a size scale. And then that scale is going to drop for each size on a tablet, landscape and portrait. But I'm making it so you have the option to override different sizes at different breakpoints if you want to or if your design calls for it. So here in Figma you can see this is the mascot that I've created and this is like a very very rough like version of what I'm thinking for uh, what the clonable the homepage is going to be like. So the idea is just to have like a little intro section. The sidebar is going to be sticky and scroll with you as you go down the page. So the idea is you would clone Hatch for your new project and then you would go through a series of steps to customize it and make it your own. So you would define like what colors you want for like the background, what colors you want for your typography, your headings and stuff like that. And then maybe also some other primary, secondary swatches as well. And then add your fonts and uh, customized buttons and stuff like that. But my goal is to make this so you can get up and running really quickly. So in Webflow, you can see, if I go to the style guide, you can see I have uh, just over 1400 classes. And I have classes for sections and containers and flex and grid. The bulk of it is margin and padding classes. So if I go to Notion, I have my docs set up here. If I go to classes, uh, spacing, margin, I'm gonna have a scale of like zero to 48. And what these numbers mean, each number is going to equal 0.25 rem or four pixels. So for example, margin one would be 0.25 rem uh, or margin 10 would be two and a half rem or 48 would be 12 rem. And there's gonna be classes for margin top, margin left, margin horizontal and margin vertical. And, and you'll have access to classes at different breakpoints. So say you space something out with like margin eight or margin bottom eight, which is like uh, two rem or 32 pixels. You'd be able to do like tablet margin zero to remove that. Um, on the tablet size if you want. So there's still quite a bit of work to do, but the idea is to like help you get up and running really quickly. So let me show you an example. So for example, if I wanted to build this little hero section, I could drop in a section. There's classes for different section sizes. So I could do section in and base maybe. So section in and section out is section in is padding, section out is margin. So section in base, which it adds six and a half or six rem on top and bottom. In here, I could do like container, maybe 1280, which is a max width of 1280 pixels. Then I could drop in a div for grid and maybe do a grid, two columns, align center uh, to vertically center it. I could drop in a div to house the content for the headline and the button. Then I could do a heading inside of there and a button. Uh, this heading, I could just like paste that in. And then I could add a class of 
uh, heading large to this to bump it up a bit. And over here, I could drop in an image and then grab that hatch image. So if I wanted to space out the headline from the button, there's a number of ways I could do it. I could add a margin bottom class to this heading large, make it a combo, um, or I could add it to the button, or I could even drop in a div. Let's put the headline inside that div, and then we'll add, let's say margin bottom eight, and space that out. And then again, if I wanted to remove that, on tablet for whatever reason I could do tablet margin zero or margin bottom zero and then on tablet size it would remove that so obviously there's still quite a bit more I need to do I still need to set up like the color classes and uh, the typography stuff and uh, stuff like that and then I need to build out the hatch site I think I'm gonna skip the documentation now and just link to the Notion doc that I've been working on. And then eventually I'm gonna build a full documentation site with probably Jetboost for some search or filtering or something. But my goal is to work really hard on this and get something for you guys to clone and check out uh, by early next week sometime, that's the goal. And then after I launch this, I'm gonna begin work on Hatch UI. And Hatch UI is going to be a premium product and it's gonna help you work even faster by having like pre-built components and pre-built layouts for like navigation, hero, features, um, logo bubbles, stuff like that. So again, this is all still a work in progress. I am really excited about the progress that I've made so far, but I do still have quite a bit of work to do to get this ready to launch. But I am wildly excited to, to show you guys. I think it's gonna really help people work faster in Webflow. It's gonna definitely help myself work faster when building various sites. Again, I'm gonna to try to launch this next week, so keep an eye out for that. And um, if you have any thoughts or feedback, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know. All right, that's all for this update. Um, I'll have more to show soon, but I'm really excited. Can't wait to uh, share it all with you guys. All right, talk soon, peace.